Hi everyone, for our last activity, we're going to see what you can do coding in Scratch. I'm going to ask you to code Ripley's space adventure with a spinning earth, a dangerous meteorite that glides all around the place, and special potions that Ripley needs to survive in space. Take a look, I'm going to hit the green flag and go. You can see the earth is spinning. Ripley gives some instructions, collects the special potions, but watch out for the meteorites. Now Ripley follows my mouse pointer, trying not to get hit by the meteorite. He's also trying to collect all of these potions. If he does get hit by the meteorite, look, he pixelates away. So that's your game today, and I'm not going to show you how to code it, but I will give you some clues. So take a peek here. Ready? Um, here are some clues that you could use. You can use all of these and other coding blocks to create Ripley's Space Adventure. I used go to a random position. All the po uh, potions went to random positions. So did the rock at the beginning of the game. It went to a random positions. If something were to be touched by Ripley, like if the potions were touched by Ripley, the potions would hide. So of course you need to put a show in there as well. Ripley is forever pointing towards a mouse pointer and moving 10 steps. And he's also pointing in the direction of 90 so that he stays upright. Also, the potions are checking forever to see if they're being touched by Ripley. If they are touched by Ripley, they hide. So again, you need a show there. So the potions are forever checking to see if they're being touched by Ripley. And, and if they are, then they hide. The earth is spinning 15 degrees slowly, but I think I used uh, 5 degrees, so it looked a little bit nicer and smoother. Um, the meteorite was gliding to a random position forever and ever. If Ripley touched the potion, I'm sorry, if the meteorite touched Ripley, then Ripley would not change color, but um, pixelate away. I used this pixelate button right there. So, I used these coding blocks and others to create Ripley's Space Adventure. Let me show you one more time. Ready? Green flag and go. Ripley explains the game. The earth is spinning. The potions are in random positions. And I got to go and collect them without getting hit by the rock. Because if I do get hit by the rock, well, look what happens. I pixelate away. And I continue to pixelate away if I get hit by the rocks. And I got to go get all of the potions. So that's how you play Ripley's Space Adventure. Here are some of the coding blocks you'll need to use. Um, I suggest you take a peek at all these and use your others and to keep trying until you get this game figured out. Thanks everyone. I hope you really enjoyed this one. Good luck with Ripley's Space Adventure and I look forward to seeing you at our next lessons. Bye everybody. Have a great rest of your day.